Nintendo's in a very interesting time right now as a company. They announced that they will be making a future announcement about the Nintendo Switch successor sometime before the end of March of 2025. But they also have another holiday season to get through. They did a direct back in June. They announced a slew of games, Echoes of Wisdom, and what is it, Jamboree, the new Mario Party game. And we just had like the NES uh, Championship, World Championships thing come out, and that's Pretty fascinating, by the way, link down below if you're still trying to get that physical copy. Uh, Best Buy still has them in stock if you want to get them. I'm pretty sure Nintendo's only going to end up doing one run of that physical copy with the golden cartridge and all of that stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, and hey, if you end up using our link, it does help support the channel. But what I want to actually get into is a new product Nintendo is launching this holiday. And they're launching it in October. And this product is sort of a retake on a product they released a long time ago. But it's very curious why they're doing it now. Because it really only gives you one additional benefit over the prior product. But it's an important benefit, especially in my opinion, with Nintendo Switch 2 around the corner. That's right. I believe Nintendo is launching a product this holiday that while it's for the Nintendo Switch 1, its existence is because the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming. What are we talking about? Well, we're talking about <laughs> you subscribing to the channel. That's number one. Gotcha for a second there. Yeah, guys, right. We're trying to go to 150,000 subscribers. So if you're enjoying the content, let's go ahead and get into it. But anyways, I'm going to explain why this product exists and, and, and why Nintendo Switch 2 has a little bit of something to do with it. Let's get into this tweet by Nintendo of America. It's a Joy-Con charging stand two-way, uh, kind of funny they're calling it two-way, is a device dedicated to charging Joy-Con controllers as well as the Nintendo Entertainment System controllers for Nintendo Switch. It, uh, it can also obviously charge the Super Nintendo Entertainment ones as well. You can get a closer look here. You can kind of see, all right, it has a stand. And with that stand, you might not be able to fit the Super Nintendo controllers on there. But as you see in this picture, it does come off the stand as well. So you absolutely will be able to charge your SNES NSO controllers as well as the NES ones. You can see the NES ones getting charged. They just fit in the stand mode. Uh, they're showing it next to the NES uh, World Championships Edition. Now it's not releasing alongside that game. It's actually releasing alongside Jamboree this upcoming holiday. But if you think about this, this isn't like a new concept for Nintendo to have a charging stand. They actually had the official Nintendo Switch Charge Grip, which was, you know, those grips that come with your Nintendo Switch, where they made a charging version that could charge your Joy-Cons. You can plug a USB-C cable into it, just like you can here. It's essentially this, but it has handles on it. And with handles on it, you're not able to charge like your Nintendo Entertainment System or your Super Nintendo Entertainment System NSO controllers. The N64 one's kind of irrelevant because it doesn't slide on the side, so it doesn't use this rail system, the system right here where you slide it on. This rail system is something we're going to get into because I think it's why this exists and why it's coming out now, nearly eight years into the platform. You see, with the Nintendo Switch successor around the corner, there's been a lot of rumors, reports, and things happening in the shipping department that seem to confirm that the Nintendo Switch 2 will be using a new rail system it won't be using the same rail system the nintendo switch uses so where you hit this little notch right here and slide it off this rail right here will not be reportedly what switch 2 is going to use it's going to use an updated version of that rail what that means is that you won't be able to slide your currently existing joy cons your nes or snes controllers onto that rail now when it comes to the nintendo switch 2 this could matter greatly for some people because if you end up trading in your nintendo switch like you take your oled here now i'm not saying you do this with a zelda special edition one but say you, you have a normal one and you trade it in towards the nintendo switch 2 to help pay for it well, NSO is compatible on that system. How the hell are you going to charge your NES and your SNES controllers if you don't have a way to do that? And that's what this thing here enables you to do. This enables you to charge those controllers and continue to use them on something like Nintendo Switch 2. It also conveniently obviously lets you still charge these. Now, you could argue there's been third-party accessories uh, for this stuff for a long time, and there absolutely has been 
But third party accessories are not the same as officially licensed products. And that is what we're talking about here. Nintendo themselves is releasing this. Uh, it, it is an alternative to the charge grip. They still sell the charge grip, but again, the charge grip doesn't let you charge things like that controller there. So my thing is, I really do think this is coming out in preparation for Nintendo Switch 2, because whenever they reveal this Nintendo Switch successor in its new rail system, the first question is going to be, well, what do I do with all the Joy-Con I have? What do I do with my uh, NES and my SNES controller for NSO? It's, it's compatible with Bluetooth, but I can't charge it if I get rid of my Switch. Ah, uh, 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 we got you. We already released the solution last holiday, and it releasing it during the holiday period when it's technically a Switch 1 accessory could get you a few holiday sales i don't think it's going to be some hot ticket item this holiday but it's going to be out there it's going to exist just like nintendo sells nintendo switch docks on their own they're not hot ticket items but you can buy them they still make them i do not think what this is is repurposing a bunch of unused um, boards from the uh charge grip i don't actually think that's what this is. I know some people have speculated that because they're still selling the charge grip. They didn't stop. You can still buy them completely brand new right off Nintendo's website, let alone at several online retailers. I honestly think that this is literally just offering an option for people that end up selling their Nintendo Switches when they want to get a Nintendo Switch 2 because it won't be directly compatible with any rail controller from the Switch generation. Now, there's a few other things to consider as well, and that is that the features on this controller have a couple of unique things. The primary unique thing is this IR camera. Now, there's very few games that use it, but you guys know one two switch uses it. There's a couple others, an indie game as well. Uh, but it's possible the Nintendo Switch 2 Joy-Cons do not have do not have that IR camera. And if it doesn't have that IR camera, the only way to be backwards compatible fully with Switch would be to allow this right Joy-Con to still be used. Right, I'm trying to take it off here, but this right Joy-Con to still be used with your system. And it can obviously connect through Bluetooth, but you gotta be able to charge it. You're not gonna be able to slap it on the side, but all the games that use it don't require you to slap it on the side anyways, because then your palm covers it up. As far as you hold it here and open it, close your mouth and a whole bunch of other different use cases for it so again it maintains compatibility so you still have that full backwards compatibility even if you might need controllers beyond what's included in the box which is already going to be true if you want that nes experience or the snes experience or even the n64 controller which will obviously just be compatible i'm sure the pro controllers will be compatible as well uh, any bluetooth controller really pretty much works with the nintendo switch even if the buttons don't line up you can technically even get controllers like this this is an Xbox Series uh, X controller. They're a uh, blue camo edition. You could even get this to work with Switch right now and probably Switch 2 via Bluetooth, but it's, it's a little wonky. You had to get like a little dongle for it. But in the end, uh, it works. It's just the ABXY is out of order on it. So you like, you know, you go to hit A and it's not A because A is up here. So B is actually A, you know, whatever. You can remap the buttons if you want, of course, uh, because they do allow you to do that in the Switch software. But that's either here nor there. The point is that I think Nintendo created this accessory here specifically to deal with the questions that are going to pop up about controllers like this NES controller, the SNES one, etc. If you need to keep Joy-Con around for full backwards compatibility, uh, how you're going to charge those if you sell your Switch. I, and I think it's a very clever thing to get ahead of. I think it's clever to put it out there. This is nothing that's super fancy or kind of crazy, but to me, it does sort of affirm some of the rumors that are going on that the Switch 2 will have a new rail system, might be using magnets and all this stuff. And thus the old system is gone. I actually think the old system being gone is a positive because there's a few things about this rail system that aren't that great. Uh, for starters, we start with how you unlock it. This little black button you press, uh, it's a, if you actually examine or ever take this thing apart, it's just a little plastic clip in there and it's very easy to snap off and thus very easy to break the locking mechanism on here. Most of my Joy-Con, not these ones yet because I haven't broke it, but my other Joy-Con and other systems have already replaced and taken them apart with metal ones instead that don't break. Uh, the other annoying thing could be what's known as Joy-Con wobble and I'll just kind of hold it like this, but if you ever notice your Joy-Cons kind of wobble back and forth because the rails have gotten loose over time that's because the metal's bent out the rails clearly need to be 
redesigned a little bit for better durability. And this sort of affirms that it's possible the electromagnets that we discovered in the shipping documents end up being what ends up fixing a lot of this. But either way, the current Joy-Con don't have that, don't support that, nor the NES or SNES. It's entirely possible that it's a completely new rail system. And that is why they're doing this. So again, this isn't like breaking news from Nintendo that, oh my gosh, we are confirming brand new uh, Joy-Con for the Switch 2 or anything like that. But look, it's nearly eight years in. There's no reason for this product to really exist right now. We have the charging grip for the Joy-Con. Uh, you can already charge these on the side of your Switch. There just isn't really a need for it. And you could talk about how, well, if you own a Switch Lite and bought these, then you need these. But Switch Lite, that came out all the way back in 2019. So this thing should have existed bare minimum back in 2020 or 2021. Although you could argue should have came out in 2019 if the reason for its existence was the Switch Lite and giving you a way to charge these. I, I, I just don't think that's the case. We're nearly eight years in. The only reason I can think this is coming out is because Nintendo knows next year, a lot of people are gonna trade in their Switches here for Switch 2 and might still want to use controllers like this on the next system or even the Joy-Con. And with that being the case, we need to give you a way to keep those charged. Anyways, folks, that's my take on this. Let me know if you think I'm crazy. I don't, not everything Nintendo does is related to what's coming next, but this is a brand new accessory that doesn't really have a purpose of existing right now beyond like the Switch Lite. And even then, way too late for that to be the reason probably related to an upcoming product that they're going to be revealing, potentially even before this product even comes out. I want to thank you guys so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance, and I'll catch you in the next video.